sorry, I uh, actually hit the stop button. So basically what I do now is just walk away, let the, uh, the tank electrolysis do its stuff. We'll come back in a couple hours, maybe an hour, take a look, see what we've got, do a brush down, and if it needs more time in the, in the cooker, then we'll put more time, we'll put it in there for a little bit more time. Your objects, it all depends. Um, I've had some objects that clean in an hour. I had some objects I had to put in there two and three days. I think it's got a lot to do with the, the, the metal content, how much carbon's in it, how what kind of alloys are in it, how much corrosion you got on. Like I said, if you don't have a good contact on your object, then it's going to quite slow this process down. Once we get some of that, that rust and decay out of there and we get down to some good metal, I'll make that connection. This thing will be roaring. It'll clean up real quick. So it all, like I said, it all depends on what kind of good metal contact you got. If it's a really corroded contact, it's going to take you a little bit longer. But I don't think I've cleaned anything. It took more than three days. And that was more like a big, huge chunk of, uh, of a round ball frag or a parrot shell frag or something like that or a big old horseshoe or something. I had a lot of nooks and crannies in. I'm going to get the nooks and crannies all cleaned out. All right, that's it for all right, right now. The cleaning process is done. And pretty much what I got, I feel is a lot better looking relic. Um, and hopefully the hopefully the rust has been, if you can see actually in there, you can get a pretty good detail. The two leaves of the tool, you got a single you got a single bar which on this uh, this end right here would have had your two screwdriver tips. Then you had a single leaf that went all the way up to the wrench, which had been your nipple wrench. Of course, the top third of that's missing. And then in the middle, there had been a bolt to hold the, other, the second leaf or the second uh, screwdriver piece. So all in all, it's like a two-piece tool. The bolt would have been in the middle, and if you would have swinged out like that, you would have had a, like a, a triangular tripod type thing. This leaf would have, the one leaf with the bolt in there, the one leaf would have moved out like that. So what you're picking up is the two divisions in the, uh, the gun tool. A little bit more defined with the electrolysis. We got most of the surface rust off and all the pitting and the nodules are off. And what we're going to do now is uh, this is done the cleaning. We're going to do the preservation. All right, all right last part. Tomorrow. Like I said, oven, put it on bake, setting 170. I used the middle rack and an old pan, just aluminum pan. Set my relic in there. What we're going to do is dry out the moisture. Take about an hour and a half, hour, hour and a half. Once that's done, then we'll, we'll use cut it. Finish up. Well, I use this what is called permatex, permatex rust treatment spray on. This is what I was talking about. It's used to usually pick it up in the uh, auto stores in the Bondo area for the body repair. But for some strange reason, I don't know if they're going out of business or just products changing line. This is getting really be hard to find. I I tend to like this because when you spray it on. It doesn't turn totally black, but it, it kind of turns a translucent looking smoky finish. Uh, so it doesn't look like it's been, the relic's been painted. It kind of just looks like it's sealed in. Semi-gloss type finish. I usually put about two to three coats of this. It's quick drying pretty much. And you want to put the coats on like within 10 minutes of each other. If, if it's not too humid out, it'll dry out in time. Uh, put a coat on about 10 minutes later put a second coat on if you think it needs it put a third coat on All right, this the is all from Virginia back again the uh, gun tools uh, Done its heat treatment. I got it dried out took it out of the oven spent about an hour and a half in the oven and now I'm gonna put on the first coat of uh, Permatex rust treatment hope I got enough left We'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens this is what I do is a quick treatment and uh, just basically sprayed it down, give it about 10 minutes, pretty much quick dry. Put a second coat on and I'll flip it over and do two coats on the other side. Pretty much that's all it takes, just a quick spray. You don't want to flood it, just want to do a misting coat. And then uh, we'll come back in about 10 minutes later. All right, we flipped the uh, flipped the gun tool over. I'm going to do the other side. I'm really low on Permatex, so uh, I'm going to try to give this a shot, at least get one coat on the entire tool. All right, hang on. All right, with that, See how it sheens, it'll dry out, take the wetness out of it. Um, most of the tool will convert to a slightly dark black. And once we get to that point, I'll, I'll use whatever uh, 
whatever's left in the can I'll use it up I hopefully get two coats on the tool if I get two coats I'll be happy that's usually what I do too and some of the bigger objects if it just doesn't look like it's got a good coating I might put in last things coat. I did one coat on each side of the gun tool using this uh, Minwax fast drying polyurethane with a clear satin finish and summer th summarize things up this then product this is my gun tool that I ended up with uh, here's the one side this actually has got slight you'll see, notice it's got a slightly darker appearance to it almost a black uh, but it's got two coats of uh, rust treatment on it a coat of polyurethane this thing shouldn't rust again for the next 25 30 years at least so I preserved this tool at least for my lifetime hopefully um, hopefully what I've done is brought out a little bit more detail around the uh, the nut area here in the middle the bolt and brought out if you look closely here where the two leaves come together uh, hopefully brought out a little bit more detail of where the division of the leaves are at and the final part would be I've hopefully got most of the rust nodules and the rust flakes off of it so it shouldn't be flaking anymore uh, all in all, pretty pleased with the results.